And welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Where we left off last time, we were going to talk to Yennefer behind this door. Apparently we are leading, she's leading the way. Let's talk to her. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. This sounds a lot like trespassing, but okay. Take it, Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Okay. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. This is a big laboratory. Whoa, we can't go too fast. There's swords and stuff around. And mugs of alcohol apparently just left around all the time. I'll take the glyph of Axie. That's something. And Tamaria is gone. Shh. Guards. Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrow's chip. When Star leaves, chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble. Seriously? Whoop. Brass peacocks screech. Hawks scream. Larks trill. And doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right. Nightingales croon. <laughs> Don't get out. They haven't moved that far. They could turn around any second. You know nothing about learning patrol patterns. All right. Wait a second. That was close. <laughs> oh, easy there, mouse. Don't jump out of the screen for some reason. All right. Can't go out there. Also stuck in Witcher mode for some reason. I'm gonna take all of your nuts and stuff. Oh, I got a sheepskin. This will be tough to open. Probably. Surprise. There we go. Never end. See the ravens? <laughs> yes, I do. Not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic ring. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. This seems like a terrible plan, but okay. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. It's a very pretty place. Well, if I could teleport, it'd be way easier for me too. I'm just gonna take this for my alchemy later on. Thank you. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Had one at Care Morin. <laughs> Please. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Pretty intimidating. Wolves? Alive. I bet you they're gonna come to life. A basin of water. For teleprojection, a reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Now, if I were a thing of things, where would I be? There's a door here. Are you all right? 
cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. Feel them. Come closer. They're everywhere. I think I'm tripping balls. Kill the bears. I'm not feeling too good. I think I'm feeling poisoned. I'm gonna be okay, right? What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. We never mention this again. Mind if we uh, never mention this again? Naturally. Doors open. We'll proceed as soon as you've collected trophies of your kills. There was only a couple of them. Let's go inside, Geralt. Nope. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Suspicions? Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. Hmm. The islanders believe the wraiths sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. I take the pawn. Didn't expect Wondrous this. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. I'll take the skull too. Raymond Marlow. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Well, how do I get it? I want the sword. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. <laughs> I like making fun of him. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. I'll try the skull. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. Pinecone, it is. What do you say we give it a pinecone? Nothing. Okay, then it's neither of those things. We must continue to look around. Need something else. Gotta look around. A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Dwarven triple mead. And a pipe. Seems Ermion has real tobacco brought in. Well, that must be nice of him. All right, how was the mead for you, good sir? Let's try again. How about a mug of mead? A statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh, seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. I think there's a golem in here. You didn't notice the giant golem? The golem is probably going to be our primary target. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. <laughs> oh, that's an unfortunate turn of events. Time to move. Yeah. 
Ow. Ow. Okay, time to go. Oh, crap, I just about died. Time to run. Run, 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 run. Time for a Quinn. Oh, she killed it. Nice. Good job. I take all of the loot. Hear that? Smell it. Gas. Great still closed. Gotta think of something. Hang on. Let me get some healing going first before we die of whatever is coming. Let's eat some candy. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Damn, I want to kiss you. Hold on tight. Why wouldn't you teleport us in the first place? That is the very clearly most obvious thing to do to escape. <sighs> See? Way better. We're fine. Damn. Tore a hole in my dress. Wait a minute. I must mend it. You know how to sew. Please. I'll enchant a needle. Magic would just make everything so easy. We should get back to the wake. Really wonder if Croc will be willing to help. He knew Siri well. She and Hjalmar played together as children. There. Good as new. Let's get back to the wake. Do I actually have to walk there, or are you going to quick travel me up there? Because it'd be kind of annoying to walk all the way back up there. Also, what was the mask we got? I just realized I wasn't wearing any armor. No wonder I took so much damage. We went out for a breath of fresh air. The claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. No, I heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Eternal fire people again. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now. Let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond, and must now choose his successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. <laughs> we have no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. Dandelion? No, he's not. He just kind of looks like him. It's a lot of swords. And a mace. Son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. Oh snap, she's still totally gonna do it. Huh. The best man, a woman, win. I kinda wanted her to win. She's got spunk. That's also true. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. It's a big castle for a pirate island, basically. How was it, Geralt? 
when Siri was nearing womanhood. What? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Siri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble. And you seek her. I do. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. I need your help with Ermion. Need your help. Siri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, at Skellig's my isle. Give my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you, that's nice of you. Do I need to talk to him? Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here on Ard Skellig on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. What was the oath? Unfold. Tell the druid I must speak to him at the usual spot. This is a usual spot where he just summons the druid. My children. Okay, what about them? You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undek. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. I thought all the giants died ages ago. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye, dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordalach here at Skelly. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. The Wild Hunt. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Well, I know how to do these fetch quests. Series intended to lift... Alderic's curse? Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional, who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. I see. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. No desire to be king yourself? Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. I'll help your children, I guess. If 
either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskelly. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Kron. I will see you later. She can teleport with a thought? That's impressive. Hey, we gained a level again. Nice. We're getting up there in levels now. We should probably equip some weapons and stuff because, you know, fighting things, kind of hard in formal attire. We take hits that nearly kill us. I look like I belong in, like, a night, an alternate lifestyle nightclub with this outfit. Got the leather jerkin. Uh, where's my skills? There it is. Finally, we're done with that one. Now we gotta get battle trance up and we'll start, or er, sorry, undying, and then we'll start getting a razor focus. How do I get out of here? Only a couple more levels and we can upgrade our items. I think we have to be level 23 for it though. Okay. There are, however, many, many things that we should probably be doing instead, like every side quest. Um, so we have to go to Undvik and search for Hjalmar. We have to go ask Ulrik where Sirius is. We have uh, go to Faro still. We have so many quests to do. Just so many quests to do now. Can I hide some of these quests? No, okay. All right, so let's start with um, this one, Family Blade, that sounds good. Can't be that far away. I mean, it's a ways away, but whatever, we'll go do it. We should go back down to the town. There's another side quest I saw down there. And I bet it's that same guy asking for money again. And I'm going to beat the crap out of him if it is. No one steals my money. For their drink. I gave him some trust. And he, he might have ruined it. If this game didn't have outrageous fall damage, I'd just jump off. Actually, maybe I will anyways. We're gonna try something. Woo! Oh, nope, that's bad. I was gonna try to land in the water, but I kind of didn't jump far enough out. I wanted to see if you can do cliff jumping in the game and actually live, but I kind of hit the cliff on the way down. It was worth a shot, though. New plan, not a jumping off of there. We'll just wander down. It's a little bit of a journey, but that's okay. I'm really, really tempted to begin Neverwinter Nights today too. I've been playing a lot of Witcher lately. And it is a good game, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy it in great, like a great amount, but at the same time, I kind of want to play some uh, Dungeons and Dragons, third edition. Make a super overpowered character, which is my goal. I think I am going to make a pretty powerful character in that, just for fun. Okay, I'm down here. Where's this quest? Oh, I went too far. Your name is Bjorg. Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners, real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. 
What's the problem? Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. This Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry. None other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Fair enough. I'll take the job. Negotiating the job. doesn't really work for me, so. Drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. Let's track that quest. Oh, there's somebody right near here that I can talk to. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps up the Kerib cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. Well, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full. It'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Wolf was underwater. I see. Called after him once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the moir the Evelyn flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freya watching over me. That, where the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. Where's the next one? As long as she doesn't move. We'll catch her really quickly. Ah, I think I went too far. There you are. Are you Tove? I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Chavilla, our son. He went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierad Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. That is really unsafe. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. All right. Let's go do this thing. Get another level or two. In three levels, we'll go hunting the cat enhanced patterns and make ourselves some enhanced gear. Which will make us slightly more powerful, which is excellent. Also, we're almost out of time on this video, so maybe next time we will be doing the drowners. We're at... Uh, 29 minutes so I'll end it here and then we'll continue on in the next video like always if you guys have any suggestions or comments please leave them below otherwise I'll see you guys next time